G'day guys, Fishing Australia here today. Me and Dan have traveled down to the lovely short Scamander River. So this is a 42 kilometer little river slash estuary that has trout and brim. And we're going for the brim today um, because trout season is closed at the moment. It'll be open when this video is published, but as of today, the 17th of July, it is closed. So. We're just going to be fishing the lower reaches for some brim so we're just going to be using little strike tiger grubs and stuff like that and hopefully it'll work out but anyway i'll see you guys when we're on this video is proudly sponsored by all good sign testing they have everything you need for trout fishing at super cheap prices make sure you head in next time you're in launceston also don't forget to subscribe as it's just one click and it's free and it really helps me out and make sure you enjoy the rest of this fishing australia video You get what I mean though, like the fishing for them is boring. Yep. Like you're not twitch, 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 twitch. Yeah, no. But they're good fighting. Yep. There's one. You're on already? Yep. Sweet. Oh. Try and grab that net. Oh, there he goes. Okay, first fish of the day. Well, at least That's good signs. Yeah, good signs. Yeah, good signs. One that I had, it had like down scan and all that shit. Saw and tap on the way down. Here we go, guys. Oh, that's a big one. He's getting up there. He's getting up there. Yeah, yeah put it there. Good stuff. Yeah, what a beauty. So early in the morning, me and Dan have traveled up to Scamander River early morning, early start, and this is what we came here for. So I just picked him off that little tree over there um, on that little strike tiger grub from All Goods Launceston. It is in a, I'll put the color over the top now, but we'll have a photo with him and then we'll chuck him back. Chuck one up with the, yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah. Too easy, so take the hook out of him, we'll chuck him back and we'll get back to it. Don't be afraid too to like let out a little bit more line, yep. sort of thing. Oh. oh, yeah, on, good. Get him in. Get him I in. Saw that one. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. <sighs> yeah, this is what we're talking about. Get him oh, in. Oh, lovely. Oh, look at the fight. Loving this shit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> Got it out. I'm in the moment. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, put it there. Do you want to let out some dread? Oh, sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> there we go. 
Just pinned beautifully in the mouth there. Out it counts. Do you want to hold him? There you go. Lovely. Can't really be the line because you're using four pound. And they, I said it can't be the line because you're using four pound and they didn't hit you. Maybe they've just grown smart considering all of them have probably got my jig heads in it. Oh, you're on. Oh no. Lost him. Down your rig. Must have been a big one. Feel that. Feel it. Oh shit. <sighs> That's probably why. Like, you'd think, surely, if the fish were deep over there. Yeah. Oh, oh salmon. What was that? Salmon. Come on, eat it, you dumb. Yeah. Fish on. There's a good fish. Come on. That guy's probably going good. Come on, show me a glimpse out. Oh, he's pretty big. He's up there. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's up there. Woohoo! Oh, that is good. Oh, get away, get away, get away. Come here. Oh, look at that. What a beauty. Oh, he's getting up there. Oh, oh, oh. He's getting up near that 40 Ooh, fork mark. Great. Come on, yeah. <laughs> oh, surely it'd be near 40. Oh, he's a big one. Let's get that mat out and have a look at him. Yep. Where is he? So, I just chucked a little bit of that strike tiger trout oil on me grub. Just scenting up heav heavily, like every now and then. Just chuck out the scent. Chuck on the scent, chuck on the scent. And, it's working. Oh, you're getting there. About 37 fork. Yep. Oh, crap. That's on camera for you. Oh, sweet. So that Shrike Tiger trout oil, obviously it's got trout oil on it, but it is just a beautiful scent. It's a nice garlicky scent. That's that All Goods Launceston. And it's like only $8 a tube. And compared to those other brands of scent, it is pretty cheap. And pulls out nice fish like this. That's mint. Is that a hole? Got a hole right there in his fin. Oh, yeah. How did that happen? Got the hole punch out? <laughs> Another go. What a mint fish. Beautiful. Ew! Oh, got him. I still got him. I still got him. Oh, yeah. Hold the boy. Lovely. Oh, not yet. Come on, get in. Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> Another good one. Another one up there. Mm. So that's how many you got? Four. Four. Four now. I've got two. Ah. Got two. Yep. Cheers.
beautiful. Look at him. A nice chunky little one. Just like that he's off. So guys, a pretty pretty productive start to the morning. Um a fair few fish getting about. We've got six in the boat and dropped about three each I'd nearly say. Yep. So yeah, just gonna keep on at it. We found a fair few fish on these rocky banks, so we're gonna go down, gonna find another rocky bank, and then we're gonna pull a fish out of it. So I'll see you when we're doing it. Hey, good. Hey, good fish. Awesome. Don't. Don't pop off. Don't pop off. Don't pop off. There we yes, go. There good we go. stuff. Nice. Put it right there again. Undo your bail arm and then I will. Lovely. Now I will. Now. Beautiful. So anyway, guys, just again, that little trout oil, little garlicky scent on our soft plastics, just doing the work. Oh, dead pause somewhere. Oh, yes. Look at that hook set. We'll get him out and then we'll see you in a second. He was never going to get it going, we. <sighs> Got a heap. That's 4-4. Four, four. Beautiful. Beautiful. Back into the drink. And off he goes. There he goes. My blood little spike. I love the stereotype like that gets put on us. Oh yeah. Like, oh, they're young, they don't know how to fish. Yep. Oh, and then just yeah, pull fish out right in front of their life. Oh, I'm on another one. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Get him in. Get him in. Oh yeah. yeah Get him in. Oh. Far out, he's fighting. Get him in. Get him in. Oh, I'm on. Oh, um. double hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he's net. He's net. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Dual his, yeah, baby. Come on. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Where are you? Come on, come on, come on. Holy s. We've scored the good spot. Put it right there, mate. Oh, shit. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man, he's huge. That little strike tiger grub there, right pinned beautifully in the mouth. Beauty. I'll grab that. I'll grab a photo with um with the, with the lure if you want to just quickly grab that and then we can yeah. both <sighs> Oh look at that. <laughs> Number five for both of us at the same time. Yep. You beauty. That is sick. I'll take a close up of that. Fuck yeah. Beautiful. Right. Run away. Out comes that fish. strike tiger jig head beautifully. So that's what we're using. Just nice, simple, simple greens. I'll just plop you down there for a second. Just pull like three fish in front of those blokes. <laughs> so yeah, just. <laughs> How cool is that? A little grub there. Right, there's that one. Yep, and now I'll get you. Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, legendary. Now? How good's that? Like, two, three. Oh, gorgeous fish. 
I got water all over my face, but I don't care. <laughs> Ew. Uh, to be, sh to be a quick explanation of what happened. Um, I cast it out after. Oh, he's big. He's big. He's big. <laughs> Right, oh, no, get him over here. <laughs> he's big. <laughs> oh, he's oh, big. He's, <laughs> he's, oh, yeah. he's Holy huge. Sh Holy sh <laughs> That's 44. That's definitely something like that. Holy man. Right, get him out, get him out, oh, get him out, get him out. No, no, no. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's oh. going under the boat. Dog. He's big. <laughs> Holy mackerel, he's huge. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> right, five to six. Oh, he's got to be close to 40 to the four. Hey, good job. Oh. Let's get out of that brag mat real quick. That's where we got to make it to. I just keep getting bigger and bigger. I know. Look at that, guys. Do you think he wanted that striped tiger grub? Because I definitely think he did. Righto. Right. Magical moment. Is he to that 40 fork mark? He is over 40, mate. He is... 41. 30... 42 centimetres to the tip and 39 to the fork. Well done. That is meat. Right, that's fine. <laughs> you beauty. That thing is huge. So guys, so that's what, so this is the grub pack I've been using. Spice pickle, three inch cow tail grub from Strike Tiger. These are at All Goods Launceston and they are what? We're looking at $11 a pack. So if you want $11, if you got $11 to catch 42 to the tip brim, 39 to the fork, I think it's worth it. So, these fish grow about a centimetre a year. So this fish would definitely nearly, it'd definitely be over the 35 range, 35 year old range, but this could even be up near the 40, but he's a beautiful fish. Big blue nose on him. We'll let him go back. Oh, so much power. Let's go. Mint. <sighs> this is rather gonna be get uh, horribly wrong or horribly right. What's the worst that can happen? I don't have a rod. <laughs> oh, you beauty. You deserve a wash when we get home, Mr. Real. And Rod. That actually worked. I guess, there you go, guys. So I was stuck down there, and usually you can sort of, if it's the length of your rod, you can wind it right down to the, wind it right down to the tip, and um, you can just wiggle it out. But this is only a six foot rod, like just straight six foot. So, it's a little bit on the short side and it was about a if, an extra 30 40 centimeters deep so what i did i took off the reel and i just wound up and i sent down my rod with my hand on it and just wiggled it out then i got it back something to try next time you get snagged a little bit too deep righto guys so we're about to wrap it up um we sort of, we went down and caught some salmon and um, then sort of came back up and it's not been as good, but um, yes, yeah, so anyway, six, six, pretty good day. Um, so I just thought I'd go over how we've been catching these black brim. So I've got a Crucius AGIS rod. It's a 6023, so it's a six foot rod. It is a beautiful rod and it's just, it's nice for when you, Casting in the snags and rocks and all that. Just nice to rip it out. So anyway, and then we'll go to the reel. I just got a basic 1000 size Shimano reel. Basic stuff. Um, on side, on that Shimano reel though, is the good stuff. 
Timberwolf braid. I've got four pound Timberwolf braid. That braid is awesome. You feel everything. Like you just, you cast out and you just see that little tap and you just know when they're there. It's just my favorite braid and it's reasonably cheap too. Like for a whatever small size, like 125 yard or 125 meter, whatever size it is, spool. It's only twenty dollars. Where if you're buying like Berkeley Fireline or Daiwa J Braid or those other stuff, it is like twenty five, thirty dollars. And this is just by far my favourite, and I've fished it all. And then anyway, I've got a just a simple double uni knot to my leader, which is four pound jinkai. Oh, jinkai leader! That is the good stuff right there. Yet again, available at All Goods Launceston for. 8 and 12 pounds so for your bigger lure needs as well i'm just using straight four and it's just working deeds and then finally we come up to the plastic so that is a 1 16th strike tiger jig head right there and behind that on oh, that is a three inch curl tail grub from strike tiger Spiced pickle, I do believe. I'll grab out the packet. Uh, of course, I grabbed the wrong one. Uh, uh, of course, I grabbed another wrong one. Uh, there we go. Yep, spiced pickle. So that is a look at it in the packet there. Yet again, all good slons essence. They've got everything you need, and it's just they're so like. Yeah, there'll be days where brim are on light colours. And there'll be days where Brimmer on dark colours and Strike Tiger have a great soft plastic range and all good stock them. So they have a great range for you to fish whatever conditions it is. Like today it was cloudy and they were slow, but they were liking this little light green lure just bounced across the bottom. So we're just casting out in the sticks, bouncing it slowly across the bottom and getting them in. But anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed some more brim action. Trout fishing should be coming up very soon considering next, not next weekend, but the weekend after is open and season. Oh my God, I can't speak. So there'll be some trout being caught, hopefully. But anyway, leave you to it. See you guys next time. Subscribe, please. I'm desperate. I need subscribers, please. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the video. <laughs>